What's up you guys? It's Cassidy. Welcome back to my channel and today we're getting beach waved. The way that I have my hair right now is my absolute favorite way to style my hair ever, 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 ever. I do like having straight hair from time to time. Like I feel like that sleek look is very like mm, I'm straight. But this hair right here is just like voluptuous, wavy. It looks a little messy, but not too perfect and not too messy. I just absolutely love this hair. And I've noticed that you guys like it too. So I figured I would do a tutorial on it because literally every time I post a picture with my hair like this, like very voluptuous and messy, wavy kind of look, you guys are always asking me in the comments, how do you do this hair? Do a tutorial on how you get your hair like this. I found the most awesome tool and it's called the Beach Waver. This one is the Beach Waver S1 and it is this really cool curling iron that only has a tiny clip at the bottom so it doesn't clip your whole strand of hair. It only clips one little piece of your hair and then with the rest of your hair it allows you to rotate it on its own. Like how cool is that? So before we jump into the video, if you guys want to see more hair tutorials on my channel, click the like button that way I know and while you're down there just hit the subscribe button as well. So if you guys want to see how I get these messy beachy waves then just keep on watching. So let's just jump right into using this beach waver. Whew, that's hot. As you can see this is how my natural hair dries. It's just very like whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have these two brushes here that Oh my god. If you guys don't have these brushes, they're so freaking good. I just use it to brush my hair out, make sure there are no knots before I go in to curl it. So now that my hair is brushed out, it looks a little bit more frizzier, but that's okay because we're going to curl it. I have these clips. These are called the Darby Clips and they are by the Beach Waver, aka Sarah Potempa. These are the best kinds of clips to section off your hair, especially if you have really thick hair because they have these like rigid edges so they really hold on to your hair and then they have this bendy part that leaves more room for your hair once the clip is closed. I'm going to start off with my bottom section so I'm sectioning off this top chunk of hair like so. Okay, so now we have here the Beach Waver. This is the Beach Waver in all its glory. It's very hot right now. I have it at the temperature 370. So let me just explain the different features of this curling iron. What we have here, this is the power button right at the bottom and you can lower the temperature or raise the temperature. On the side here, we have the fast button and the slow button. So when you go to twirl it, you can control whether it's going faster or slower. Here we have the home button. So anytime you press this home button, this curler right here, actually this clamp, is going to go right back to the front. So once I press home, it's going to go right back to the front and make it easier for me to start out with. So, <laughs> this is so cool. I love this curling iron. <laughs> once I get a piece of my hair into this little clip, I can then press these arrows and choose the direction in which I want it to curl. So I can just press outwards or inwards. Isn't that cool? I'm just gonna grab a section in the back of my hair, right here, just a nice one inch section. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in front of the barrel. I'm clipping it almost in the middle, like just like that, because I wanna leave a good piece of hair out. That way it can have that really textured feel. And then what I'm gonna do is just twirl it in and stop it. So I have full control over how I want it to curl. It's not like one of those automatic curlers where you don't know if it's gonna stop or you don't know if your hair is just gonna like keep on going and get ripped out. You have complete control so you can really just twirl it and stop it and make it go again and I really love that about this. So then I'm just gonna take this out and there we have my little curl. So now I can move on to the next section and for in between every section I personally just like to press the home button just so I can start at the beginning again and make sure like I'm starting at the center and nothing is kind of like weird and off center. I'm gonna do this lower section for all my short haired girls so I can show you guys how this goes for these little sections here because these are the most tricky when curling your hair. Again I put it in front clip it and then just barely curl it just like that 
and it's nowhere near my neck. Then I take it out and I just want these bottom pieces to have a little wave. And then I'm just going to go through this whole section and show you guys exactly how it turns out. Not for me. I'm not into girls with a plastic dress. Don't take it too personally. Okay guys, so I finished this bottom section and as you can see the waves are really pretty. I feel like you can't really get a good idea of how it's going to look until you see the longer pieces up here. So right now it just kind of looks like these have a little bend in them, which is perfect for the bottom pieces because I don't want them to be like too tightly curled. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and I'm going to do another mid section. I'm going to just do the same exact thing that I just did on that lower section. But there's a bunch of us out in the world who's just like me, not into you. Say, say, you think you the deal, you know nothing, babe. I want something real, not the custom made. I'll buy you a drink, keep you company. I'm sorry, that's all it will be. I already love how it's coming out like this really smooth wave that it's not too done up it doesn't look too perfect like I hate when my curls look too perfect and then they just bunch together I'm gonna finish off this back section and then I'll come back to you when I'm doing the front pieces of my hair just so I can show you the very last so now I'm gonna do the last and final section and today I'm gonna go for a middle part. My middle part is always a little bit off to the side just cause I have a cowlick right here that always makes it go like that way. So I have to do it right outside of that. The very last piece. I noticed that when I curl my hair, I have such a serious face on. It's kind of funny. <laughs> We're just gonna mess that up. I just like to dig my fingers in there. Okay, so the hair's done. The last and final step that I'm doing is I'm gonna put some hairspray in my hair just to kind of just hold that texture. I'm using the L'Oreal L Knit Spray, which I. I really don't like how this suffocates me, but I really do like how it makes my hair look. <laughs> and this is what I'm left with. Literally, you guys, every time I post a picture with this hair, you guys ask me, how do I get it? And I finally have given you the tutorial. I've given you the fruit of my loins. Just kidding. Just a hair tutorial. So I truly hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have absolutely any questions, please leave them in the bottom bar down below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did like this tutorial, click the like button down below and please don't forget to subscribe because you know how much it means to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!